tell me a little bit about where you were before joining ECU and where you are now. I was abruptly informed that my position was terminated. Really no reason why. HR and my boss walked in my office and said, I expected immediately your position's terminated. And then when I asked why, I was kind of given some really wishy-washy answers. And then my boss walked out of the room and left me with HR. So that kind of started me on a kind of a bit of a spiral. I'd never been without a job before. I've been employed since I was 15 and I'm 50. You know, so that uh, kind of hit me very, very hard. I'm going to do the normal thing. LinkedIn, all the job boards, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then the, I'm so sorry, we've decided to go in another direction started to hit a lot. I was spending eight hours a day applying for positions, reaching out. And I thought I was doing it the right way. I found ECU um, actually on LinkedIn and reached out to you guys because it was, I was really starting to take it very first. You start to do, internalize everything. What am I doing wrong? What is wrong with me? Why are they not choosing me? So I reached out and I would had it in my head. I needed a certain role. I needed a certain title. You know, I didn't want to go back, even though I was starting to think, well, maybe I need to go backwards. Maybe I need to start all over, you know? And when I joined the ECU, I really was able to talk to folks who didn't have any real skin in the game. It gave me the opportunity to kind of get it off my chest, have somebody listen, and then also have, get some really good feedback. Like, you know, what do you really want to do? What motivates you? Do I really need to be in charge of a huge group of people or I started to think maybe I want to get back to the science, which is what made me fall in love with histology to begin with and get into this realm. So, you know, kept applying for jobs, met some terrific people through the EC that I never would have met before. You know, the connections were awesome. Through doing unique searches on LinkedIn, I found this position. It was titled as a principal scientist, which I never would have even looked at before. But then I started looking at the job description and it wasn't being a lab rat. It was being somebody who helped business development, create new work, helps um, explain to what we do to clients, help support the pathologist, which is stuff that I've done in the past and I've been very, very good at, but I've never been able to concentrate on because I also was managing people and managing budgets and managing finance and all that. So I applied for this job and I took the interview strategy that I really learned through at ECU as far as, you know, presenting myself in a unique way, not just barfing up my, you know, history, but really explaining, this is what I can do for you. This is what I'm good at. This is how I can bring value to your company. Like I said, I get to get back into the science, which really intrigued me, but it's, it's kind of scary because it's a lot of new things. I used all my strategies. I kind of stood my ground and I kept going and I'm like, you know, I'm going to keep going through the process. Worked it in my head that, you know what, this is still an opportunity. This is still a possibility. And then California, when you interview in California, it's really different than interviewing in Missouri and Illinois and the Midwest. You just kind of a different mentality. Talking with some of the people at the ECU, I was able to kind of curtail a little bit of my spiel, but I did take the strategy from the ECU and I kept reaching out. I said, I, I waited a couple of days and I reached out and I said, hey, you know, I don't have the contact information for the folks who I interviewed with, but could you please let them know that I really appreciate the, the opportunity to come out and I would love to be part of your team. Five minutes later, good news. I'll tell them that you said that and we want to offer you the opportunity. <laughs> much, much better benefits. Freedom to work from home. I will be doing a little bit of traveling, but not much. So I'm able to, I have a five-year-old. I'm able to use school, pick him up, go to school functions. You know, really by concentrating on what I want and what I want my life to be like, I think really helped with this a lot. And I don't think that's something I would have done if I hadn't been part of the ECU. How long were you in the program? I think I ended up being in there. Well, I know there was like one month I wasn't able to do anything because I had some family issues going on. So I was active, I think, for about three months. People who are really committed are usually right around that 90 day mark. And it sounds like you were really committed to working those steps. So I'm, I'm super happy for you. There's a phrase I use a lot, life by design. And we get so caught up in these career paths that we forget to design our life, you know, into that. And being suddenly let go or fired, I mean, those are really traumatic events. It's nothing less than really, you know, traumatic. And then to go through a series of rejection also tends to, you know, highly impact the mindset. So I'm curious with your story, you know, specifically, how did ECU help your mindset after you went through all of that? So I got on as many of the webinars as I could, um, really just kind of thinking about, yes, this job, I I loved the folks that I was in charge of. I had great teams, you know, that part. But what part of the job did I love? And what part of the job was rich, very much a struggle for me? And by doing some of that retrospective thinking, I realized I was really unhappy at the job that I got let go from. I mean, it was really a blessing I got let go. I was doing three different jobs. 
and not getting any credit for it. They actually hired to hire four people to replace me, I found out. But then starting to think about, you know, just because they're turning me down, they're not looking at me, they're not talking to me most of the time. It's just they're looking at a piece of paper. You know, somebody told me that I wasn't qualified because I didn't have PMP certification behind my name. I've been doing project management for years. I had proof that I've done project management. And if they would talk to me, they've seen that, but they were looking for those three little words. So I had to remember that these folks are going through hundreds and hundreds of resumes. It's not personal. I had to get my face in there. And then when I did get my face in there, I was able to talk to people and then just staying positive when I did get that opportunity and really grab that opportunity from it. Um, at the beginning of our conversation, you said, hey, I think my story is going to be a little different, but let's roll with it. What do you think is the most different part of your journey here than maybe the, the typical client? Like I said, I, I went from being a director to now I'm a principal scientist. So I know a lot of folks are going, you know, either laterally or up. Um, and getting paid more. I found out for me, the freedom, the flexibility and the benefits really outweighed making more money. I'm very comfortable with my salary. It's a very good salary, but I earn more by getting my flexibility, getting better benefits and having a place where I think I can healthfully grow with this corporation. If you were to tell somebody thinking about, you know, considering working with ECU, what would you tell that person? I would tell them absolutely. And if you're gonna do it, do it wholeheartedly you know, completely involve yourself in it. Don't do it half-assed because it's, you will get your money's worth. It's an amazing investment in yourself to get you where you're going. So if you are looking either to move, if you want to be more upwardly mobile, or if you're looking for a new situation because you ran into a situation like I was in, absolutely take the time, take it seriously, do all the steps because if you don't do the steps, you're not, it's not going to help you. It's only going to be as successful for you as you are going to invest yourself into it.